Hi guys, Harsh here and today I'll be talking about something that is going to help you when you are about to launch a website. So today I was researching about something that I have planned for a long time and if you have seen my earlier video where I talked about launching about Shout University which is actually a professional blogging course. So I thought today is the day when I should take my first baby step and launch the website. now. Obviously, I can just launch it right away. So what I really wanted was launch the domain and have a coming soon page where people can subscribe and get notified about the updates that's coming up. You know, that's a smart way when you are about to launch a website instead of launching it right now, because obviously it takes time to build the quality content. What you can do, you can put a launching or coming soon page, let people subscribe to your email updates, let them sign up on your social media accounts and let them know when you're about to launch. So that's what my goal was today. And I've been researching about some of the best solution for that. So I landed on plugins and the themes and I've tried many plugins and finally I landed for Seedprod WordPress plugin. Well, that's a free plugin on WordPress plugin repo, but instead of the free plugin, I uh, landed for opted for the premium plugin because that gave me much more option. And today's video is all about this plugin. So if you are someone who's actually planning to launch a website and uh, looking for a way to get a subscriber before even you go live, this is this video is for you. So I'll review the Seedprod plugin, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and you can decide if you really want to buy it or you don't want to buy it. So I purchased the plugin and here is my website called shoutuniversity.com where I launched the website and I'm using this particular plugin. So that's how the settings page looks like. This is after installing and activating the plugin. So uh, once you purchase the plugin, you'll also get the license key. Simply add the license key, click on check license and it will show you you have a valid license that's it save all changes this is very important because whenever they launch an update you will be the first one to get the update automatically now when you actually activate the plugin the general status will be on disable you can click on enable coming soon mode because that's what you need or if sometime if you already have a website which is live and you're making some changes you can also click on enable maintenance mode and make you know all the visitors who are coming on your website you can let them subscribe to your email update so i'll get that uh, get back to that soon first let me show you how this plugin works so this is one of the best plugin i've found and for many reasons which i'll explain in the video so the first thing i mean i don't have my logo ready right now so what i did i just added the headline what my uh, you know the coming soon website is all about I added a description which is simple like a normal WordPress post editor you write about what your blog is all about basically the whole idea of here is to let the user know what your blog is going to be all about I mean what your website is going to be all about and why they should subscribe to you so this is something which I have written you can also check the website in the I've added the link in the description Apart from that, now the, this is the most important part like you, the first thing that you should be targeting is to p get people on your email list. Now they have so many good options. You can also, if you don't want to go for the paid option, you can use FeedBurner, that's free email, email marketing tool from Google. But I use Aweber and that's one of the best. So I simply select Aweber, I clicked on authorized app, got my authorization code, select my list and save all changes, that's it now. Uh, I'll show you the uh, live example of how it works. So basically now my coming soon page email subscription option is integrated with Aweber. Now, um, so this option is not needed because I'm using Aweber. Everything is managed by Aweber. Apart from that, that's the best part. You can also integrate the share button, which is, which is something you might not need if you're using Aweber, MailChimp or any other service. Now, uh, so if you are something, someone who is actually doing the maintenance or you have a deadline that you want to achieve, you can also enable the countdown settings and you can select like, you know, when, do you, when is your website going live? But this is something that I haven't decided. So I just put it on disable. Now in your case, you might need it. So it's a good idea to keep it on yes. 
Now here's the most important thing like you can use fav icon. So for the branding, you can use your SEO title. In my case, my blog title already says like learn professional blogging Saudi Shout University. So I keep it the I keep it the same way. I am not making any changes over here. And I just added the SEO meta description because if Google indexes my blog, it has to be more meaningful, right? Apart from that, yes, you can quickly integrate with analytics code. You can add, you can create an account on Google Analytics. That's again free. Add your analytics code. Uh, you just need to add this particular part of the analytics code and it will start tracking the visits. And that's it. I mean, that's the simple way. Now, what is the most important thing when I judge a coming soon page is social media uh, profile because basically I want user to come on the, my landing page and apart from email su subscription, I also want them to subscribe to my social media profile because that's how I will get one step closer to them. So this is something very great about this particular plugin. So you simply add that and you can also, uh, you know, make changes in the language or the words this is very important especially if you believe in you know the call to action you can uh, you can make changes according to your experience what works the best for you and that's it i made a couple of changes over here apart from that yes the design part that is very important so basically i landed with the default design you can always you know customize your design according to your need you can simply use a background image if you have one Apart from that, you can also make the CSS changes. So I'm not a CSS expert, but if you are one, you can always make changes there and make your uh, coming soon page, landing page more attractive to get more subscriber. Especially, you know, when you are creating a landing page, always remember the people who are coming there are someone who don't know you. They are coming there for the first time. So you have to lure them to make them understand what are they going to get. Now, here's one most important thing. The reason I opted for uh, this particular plugin is the responsive design. Now, we all know that, you know, how important it is now to have a have a design which is mobile red, ready. And this is something uh, Seed Prod plugin offers. So by default, the responsiveness is enabled. And I've also checked verified on my mobile device on my iPhone that it works pretty awesome. So simply, you know, click on enable responsiveness and by default it's enabled. You can make changes over here. You can add some header script, footer script. If you have like some particular code from let's say TYNT or some other web services, you can use that too. So pretty much that's it on then subscriber this part is again important like people who are subscribing to your blog you can simply view it and let me show you i so i'm basically i made my website live with the particular design and this is how it looks now you can see it's actually responsive by just dragging or you know uh, making your uh, browser width more or less so this is pretty much that's it so i spent 24.95 dollar and there were many free options but the kind of things i was looking for i realized this is something that i need and it's very important so if you are looking for a particular coming soon plugin or themes i would recommend go for seed prod it might uh, you might need to pay 24.95 dollar which is actually a peanut especially when you're launching a membership website it's worth each and every money, money of yours. If you have any questions, if you have any queries particular to, uh, in particular to this plugin or about any other coming soon plugin, feel free to ask me via comments. If you enjoy watching this video, I would appreciate if you click on the like and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you for watching. This is Harsh.